So regression is quite a complex style of programming. But when it comes to working with complex data structures like trees, it is quite simple than iterative versions. Suppose if you were to traverse a binary search tree in an order tree fashion, so if we are at the root node, we can just write a function that ca calls itself recursively. So when we are at the root node, we can just call the left subtree and visit the root node and call the right subtree again. So if we observe here, we have some mechanism to get back to the root node after we are done with this entire left subtree. So here, when we call the left subtree from the root node, when we call the left subtree, it calls itself recursively, obviously. So after we are done with this entire left subtree, so when we call the left subtree, the function call gets pushed onto the call stack, and when the function returns, the function call gets popped out of the call stack. So when we are done with this entire left subtree, we get back to the root node. So we have some kind of mechanism that gets us back to the root node when we are done with this left subtree. So if you are to implement this in an in-order fashion, I mean in an iterative version, so we need to have some mechanism in a similar way the recursion does, we need to have some mechanism that gets us back to the root node after we done this entire left subtree. So more is in order data will have this weird way of storing addresses. So after we're done with this left subtree, 6, 8, and 11, we need to get back to 13. So if you observe here, 11 is the predecessor of 13. So the one that precedes in this in order uh, list, the one that precedes 13 is the, it's obviously pre predecessor. So in this left subtree, uh, a predecessor is actually the rightmost node in the left subtree. So rightmost node in the left subtree of the root node. Rightmost node, 11 is the predecessor. So more is in order data reversal links the predecessor to the root node before giving control to the left subtree. So before giving control to 13 from 13 to 8 to the left subtree, we need to make sure that the control gets back to the root node again. So we make sure that by providing this kind of link. So after we are done with 6, 8, and 11, we can get back to 13 again using this link. So this is how Morris in order data reversal works. Suppose if we are at 11 uh, root 8, root node 8. So after we visit 6, we need to make sure we get back to it. So before giving control to 6, we link the predecessor of 8. The predecessor of 8 here obviously is 6. So we link 6 to 8 again. So again, if we are at uh, node 18, before giving control to 14, we need to make sure that we get back to 18 again. So we link the predecessor of 18. The predecessor of 18 is 14. We link the node to 18 again. And after we are done with the left subtree, this 14, we get back to 18. So and we visit 18 and we give control to the right subtree. So after giving control to right subtree, we need not to get back to the root node again. So after we are done with this right subtree, we are returning from the function. So in a in our uh, iterative version, we don't need to get back to the root node again after we are done with this right subtree. So again, when we are 13, we don't need to get back to the 13 after we are done with this entire right subtree. So after done with this right subtree, we don't need to get back to root node. So let's see how the algorithm works. Let us understand the algorithm by examining the example. So we have a point called current. So current initially points to root. So while current still exists, so we are using the current to traverse the entire tree. While current still exists, we are doing this operation. So if current to left does not exist, we have current to left. So if what happens if current to left does not exist? If we don't have the left subtree, we simply visit the current node and the current goes to the right subtree. So we have current left subtree. So when we have left subtree, we need to give control to the left subtree. Before giving control to the left subtree, we need to make sure that we have a way back to the current node. So for that purpose, we are finding the predecessor. So predecessor is 11. If predecessor to right exists, so currently we don't have predecessor to right. So uh, let us examine that later. So if predecessor to right does not exist, we are going to this part, else part. Predecessor to right equals to current. So we are forming this link. Predecessor to right to current node. So current equals to current left. So we are giving control to the left subtree. And current goes to here now. So when we have current here, we have left subtree. So we come to the else part. So we find the predecessor. So predecessor is 6. If predecessor right does not exist, uh, exist. so predecessor right does not exist. So we come to the else part. So predecessor right equals to current. So again we form the link. So before giving control to 6, we form the link and give control to 6. And current equals to current left. And current goes to here. So when we are at 6, we don't have left subtree. So we simply visit the current node and go to the right. So we, we simply visit 6 and go to right. So right uh, current goes to here. So when we are at 8, we have left subtree. So we come to the else part. And predecessor to right now exists. So predecessor to right now exists. 
exists. So predecessor train, uh, if predecessor train exists, predecessor train equals null. So we are removing this link by pointing it to null, by pointing the predecessor to, uh, to write to null. So we visit the current node, we visit 8, and again current equals to current to write. And again, we give control to the right subtree. So when we are at 11, we don't have rep subtree. So we simply visit current, we simply visit 11, and go to current to write. And control now goes back to 13. So if you observe here, we did all of the uh, traversal on this left subtree and we came back to the current root again. So when we are at 13, so we have left subtree, but the predecessor to right exits, exists. So we have left subtree, we come to the other spot. So predecessor to right exists. So we need to remove this link. So we need to remove this link. So we remove this link. And again, we visit the current node, we visit 13. And we go to current to right and we go to here. So current goes to here now. So when we are at 18, so we have left subtree. So we come to else part. At left subtree, we need to find the predecessor and point it to the current node. So we find the predecessor and point to the current node and current goes to the left. And we need to give the control to the left subtree. So when we are at 14, we don't have left subtree. So we simply visit the current node. We simply visit 14 and we go to the right node. So right node is 18 now. Again, we came back to 18. So when we are at 18, we have left subtree. So we have come to else part. And again, the predecessor to right exists. So predecessor to right exists. So we need to remove this link. We remove this link. We go to, we visit 18. And we go to the right subtree. And current goes to here now. So when we are at 20, we don't have left subtree. So we visit current simply. We visit 20. Current goes to current to right. So current right is null. So current goes to here which is null and current while well, current current becomes null so the loop terminates so this way morris in order to traversal works so as you can see we are at some we are standing at some node and we are checking whether the left sub left subtree exists or not if left subtree exists so we need to give the control to left subtree so before giving control to left subtree we need to make sure that we have a way back to the current node by implementing by using this predecessor and forming a link from predecessor to the current node. And again, when we are at the root node for the second time, we have predecessor to write exists. So after coming back to the, so when we are at 13, after visiting all of this entire node with this link, and we are coming back to 13, when we are at 13 again, we need to remove this link. We need to revert the tree's state back to its original state. So we are removing this link by checking this condition, if predecessor to write exists. So we are removing this link, and we are doing this operation uh, this way. So consider implementing this kind of mechanism so to uh, form an algorithm for pre-order or post-order retraversals. So thank you.